we will be exploring how to uh, you know uh, how to use uh, powerpoint uh, the basics uh, the basics of powerpoint is something that we will be exploring in the session uh, the objectives of uh, this session is uh, since it's the basic level uh, how to create and name a new file okay. and uh, understanding the toolbar or ribbon as we call it and the various tabs we will be doing all this uh, all these objectives uh, we will be uh, doing uh, live so for uh, easy uh, you know understanding and of course adding style to the slide by changing fonts color uh, inserting pictures word art etc uh, besides this if there is anything else that you wish to learn uh, you can please put that in the chat box and i would uh, respond to that now a little bit of uh, uh, a question uh, and here uh, because that uh, helps me in uh, in, uh, in 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 planning the content of uh, the session is that have you tried your hand at powerpoint okay uh, because uh, then i would uh, again i also give out certain tips uh, while uh, uh, during the session so uh, the tips would be they would be given accordingly and uh, secondly if uh, at the same time if you are uh, if you are using powerpoint i would also uh, invite you over to share your experiences with other members uh, answers can come in at any time in the chat box either a yes or a no now i uh, just to begin with uh, since it's the basic level uh, we need to understand what is ms powerpoint uh, the words MS here, uh, the alphabet MS stands for Microsoft, uh, you know, Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, that's what uh, it, it we refer to, and uh, it's it's basically a standard component of the Office Suite software. It's a it's something when we buy, we or when we subscribe to the Microsoft Office uh, Suite, it is a it is a component of that. Secondly, it is uh, bundled with uh, Word, Excel, and other productivity tools. We also refer to it as a productivity tool. And uh, what it does is that it uses slides, you know, uh, slides in the sense that uh, those of us who have been uh, using Microsoft Bundle, like for example, in, uh, in the Word, you know, it's a page. We refer to the single unit there as page. Okay. Similarly, in uh, in Excel, uh, we refer to it as a workbook. Okay. Uh, here in PowerPoint, we refer to that unit as slide. So what we what it does is it it uses slides to convey information in uh, rich in multimedia. Of course, when we uh, go on to master PowerPoint, uh, we would also see that uh, multimedia, as a matter of fact, originated from, uh, uh, from a PowerPoint itself. Now, that was just about PowerPoint. Now, the uses of PowerPoint, you know, uh, it's an option to present views with the help of a presentation, like what I am doing right now. Uh, I'm using the equivalent of uh, PowerPoint in Google, which is known as uh, Google Slides. Now, the same way, uh, you know, uh, we present our views uh, through a presentation. Uh, we can teach lessons by that. Uh, we can publicize any topic. You know, uh, we can present uh, our research at a conference, uh, show a business plan internally if we are uh, within uh, our office or, uh, you know, uh, anywhere else, we can show a business plan or a marketing uh, plan, etc. If not even for our per, uh, personal use, we can create a photo album, uh, show a digital portfolio. I mean, if uh, any, because uh, it's a software and it uses the electronic media, so it's a digital portfolio. We can do that, and uh, lots of other things also. Now, in order to access MS PowerPoint, it is either installed as a software. Uh, which I will be using in uh, today's uh, session. Or we can access it by creating a Microsoft account through you know, the web, through the browser. And 
if we are using a small smaller devices uh, such as a smartphone or a tablet uh, we can uh, access it uh, through you know uh, applications uh, we can download it uh, the applications and uh, use it from in the from the device also now a little bit of information about tabs uh, we will of course be exploring this uh, you know uh, within uh, within uh, when i do the demo these are all in sequence you know file home insert uh, design uh, transitions these are all tabs okay uh, which are there in the ribbon and uh, after that we get to animations slide show uh, review uh, view now these are all tabs and uh, of course the last very important one being the help feature and uh, next to that what we would be exploring is you know word art uh, we will also be doing a demo of that just for information as to what is word art it is a text modifying feature you know it uh, modifies the text in uh, as per certain designs which are inbuilt there and we can customize that uh, font there uh, of course colorful uh, artful text in a variety of styles there are various styles also with which we can modify that and uh, this helps in creating interesting titles logos and even text just ordinary text uh, it has effects also uh, such as shadows outlines colors gradients and 3d we will be exploring all this you know and uh, can be bent scratched or skewed for uh, uh, you know uh, or modify the shape uh, the uses of word art is uh, generally titles of a presentation uh, title of a slide Uh, titles of text boxes or uh, you know uh, there are uh, we can also create our own style uh, we can also create our own style with that now here i will stop sharing screen and uh, i will open up a powerpoint uh, you know uh, in uh, now the uh, the office bundle that i'm using is uh, i use a windows 10 okay. and uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the office bundle that i have is uh, uh, of uh, is uh, office 2019 okay. so many you know any individual uh, following it on their laptop might find the difference if it is an older version of uh, of uh, powerpoint that you're using uh, maybe it could be 2007 uh, so if uh, there is any challenge you can always unmute yourself and uh, ask me that you know i am not seeing this in uh, my uh, system here and i would guide you accordingly so uh, here we go again into the share screen mode and uh, now uh, what you are seeing here is uh, a, a you know a, is uh, i have clicked open the powerpoint and uh, we are at the home of that okay. at i can open a new file by clicking on you know at the top a new blank presentation or you know which is new below the home from any of these places we can click you know and uh, start the presentation uh, start the file as such let's click on new and uh, when i click on new one of the things in powerpoint uh, is uh, uh, that uh, they have you know certain templates we are not going to be working with templates Uh, we will be starting with the uh, direct from a blank presentation okay uh, if i click on blank presentation uh, this is what i get by default okay here i would say by default the slide is white okay and uh, it's not that uh, since it's white uh, by default it is not necessary that we let it remain as white we can change everything this is a software okay and we can customize it so first come first uh, it, within the basics uh, what uh, we need to understand you know is uh, the is the ribbon okay and since this is a software 
first things first, when we open a file, we need to name it and save it at a location. So from the top, uh, where in the, you know, just below the, uh, the reddish maroonish area, all that gray area and these, uh, this maroon area, this is known as the ribbon. And within the ribbon, the alpha, the words that are printed, like for example, file, home, insert, design, temp, uh, you know, transitions, animations, and so on and so forth. These are all tabs. We need, uh, this is the terminology for the ribbon. We need to understand, you know, uh, we should be aware of that. Uh, just from the point of view that when we are discussing uh, with any individual, if they say that uh, go to this tab or go here, uh, you know, go to the animations tab or the slideshow tab, then we should be aware as to where we have to go. Below that, below in each tab, there is a set of, you know, groups. Okay. For example, in the home, you know, uh, the first section that we see, clipboard, this is a group. Within the clipboard, there are different commands that are there. Similarly, in slides, in the font, in a paragraph, these are all groups. And the individual, you know, uh, that is there, that is the command. But within each tab, I would say, there are uh, different, you know, uh, different uh, commands or different groups. So the, uh, the, this is the ribbon. Right? Now, first come first, we have created the file. So we need to save it. So what we do is we go to the first, uh, you know, tab that is there, which is file. Okay. And when we go to file, when we click on that, it brings us here. And uh, we click on Save As and uh, choose the location. Okay. Uh, I want to save it uh, on the desktop. Okay. So I click on Desktop and uh, I select uh, the appropriate location. And then I give it the file name. Okay. I give it, say, Demo. Basics 2. I just write there and save as type PowerPoint presentation. Okay. There is a drop down here, but not to go into that drop down. Just save it as PowerPoint presentation. Right. And we hit the save button. As I hit the save button, at the top, if you see, the name of the file comes up here. Okay. Now, that was, you know, creating and uh, saving a file. Next, you know, uh, when uh, we are looking at uh, a slide, uh, when we are looking at a slide, uh, to begin with, I would say that uh, in, uh, you know, many of us have used MS Word. When we use MS Word, as we open uh, uh, the, uh, you know, a document or a page, we can start typing in that. That is even in Excel, when we open up an Excel, we go to a cell and there we can start typing there. In PowerPoint, the unit, as I said, is called a slide. And in order to write on a slide, we need a text box. Text box is something that you're seeing here on the screen which is, you know, those dotted lines or this box kind of thing. If I click here, you know, I can type. I can type here that, uh, you know, uh, the first, sorry, uh, first slide. I just type something. Okay. Now, I will let you know. Now we have typed. If I insert, okay. If I insert a blank slide, okay, as to how you will see that. Now, the second slide is a blank slide here. 
there is a no text box here so irrespective if i start typing nothing will happen so in order to do that what i need to do is uh, within the insert box uh, within the insert tab there is uh, a command for text and there is a text box here we just select that okay. and when we bring the cursor back on the slide you see the shape of the cursor changes you know ordinary, ordinarily okay uh, ordinarily uh, let me just uh, deselect this okay now this here okay, is a text box and when i start typing on in this i can start F I R S T uh, first slide. Let me make the font a bit bigger and uh, even let me do a little bit of a zoom. Okay. So now you see this box is there and we can type within the box. If I want to type somewhere else, I will not be able to type. Okay. This box is visible only when active once i move the cursor away it will not be active it will not be seen until and unless there are uh, other provisions by which we can make it you know make it visible so this was uh, you know the basics of inserting text here first slide uh, uh, you know of the session let me write this of this session and uh, i have written this basic okay now i have written this if i want to change its font i want to change uh, the size of this font or the color everything is here in the font section and those of us who have used ms word it is the same process uh, here we can if supposing i want to change uh, the uh, you know the the font type in this there are two ways of doing it i can either select the entire text box by clicking on that circle you know which is there at the top and going to the font section i choose something i choose the font and you know it changes okay. i want to increase its size same thing i choose on this i select everything and uh, from the drop down i go over and uh, make it bigger okay now this is the same as was in word similarly if i want to change its color we have the option here okay. uh if i want to change the font color there's a drop down here i you know i select uh, say a slightly bluish okay. and uh, we can change the color also okay. if i want this box you know the background of this box to be of another color than white before that you know the here if i choose you know uh, uh, any color i would be able to place that here okay. let's choose a yellow i see this is done so this way this is the first thing in powerpoint inserting text okay. and customizing the text the basic customization in the sense selecting the font changing the size of the font changing the color of the font and inserting a background if required okay. the other things that uh, you know uh, that uh, are uh, i mean uh, a few things which are the basics now from here okay from here uh, if we want the next to the font section you know is uh, the option of uh, there is an option for text direction okay now 
we can alter the direction of the text also. If I do a drop down, right now it is horizontal. If we want to make it, uh, you know, rotate it. This is a long text. Uh, so let me do a control Z. And uh, if I just try, if I remove this, okay. and uh, within this box, if we see, the if I want to change the direction of the text, okay. I select the box, and uh, from here, if I say rotate all 90 degrees, I move it 90 degrees, and uh, you know, I can, I need to twist this box and. Uh, bring it down, I can, uh, you know, bring the box down. And if you can see, let me reduce the font all size also. Uh, okay. And, you know, uh, bring it uh, the other way. I, if I move it, you know, if I go into the text direction, rotate all 90 degrees. I just move it this way. And if you can see, the text has moved 90 degrees. Okay. And that is how the direction of the text changes. Similarly, if I want to rotate all text 270 degrees, okay, 90 degrees meant, you know, from the top to bottom. You see, first slide like this. If I if I were to, you know, change this and I want it from the bottom uh, to the top, okay, I just uh, move it, you know, the other way. Rotate all text, you see. This is from the base moving upwards. Right? And if uh, we want something else, I just say stacked, okay. Stacked means that each alphabet, one on top of the other. You see here, first, you know, one alphabet on top of the other. That is what is stacked here. And uh, we can, you know, make it, uh, if I, uh, let me make it still further. And uh, now if we see, you know, each alphabet is uh, one on top of the other. It has been stacked here. So the, this was, you know, uh, changing the direction of uh, the text here. This was basically, you know, in the first step itself that uh, we should uh, know how to play around with text, insert text, and uh, you know, change uh, their uh, uh, you know, uh, change their uh, color, change their uh, uh, what we call it, uh, change the font, uh, change the size, and those kind of things. Besides this, you know, there, within this font section, there is an option of uh, increasing the space between the alphabets, okay. and if I go into you know the font section and where it's written a v if i move over and uh, i go into say very loose you can see the space between f and i i and r and so on and so forth has increased okay. we can increase it as well as we can decrease it okay. so depending on what uh, it, what is required, we can change it accordingly. Now, this was ordinary text. Okay. Another thing that we can do in PowerPoint is insert various things. Okay. So, in order to insert various, you know, various things, what we do is we go into the second tab of insert, okay. and uh, from the insert tab, what we can do is number one, we can insert new slides. Okay. Besides new slides, we can insert tables, we can insert pictures. Okay. 
if I click on picture, it gives me two options. Number one, this device. Number two, you know, online pictures. If I go on to this device, it will take me to within uh, uh, the, you know, uh, within the, uh, uh, within the device and uh, say in uh, downloads, I have uh, something like this. And uh, I have uh, some file, I can insert it. I insert it and I get this image here. So very easy to insert images as long as they are there on the you know on the uh, on the for, uh, on the system itself. Right? And even when these images are there, if we need to shape them or reduce them to a size, we just go to the corner of them, and we can drag it down right? using. The left cursor, we just pull it down, and we can change the sh the size of this, uh, you know, of uh, the image itself. Another thing that we can do uh, to these images is that uh, if uh, if uh, we go over into you know into if I select this, if I select this image, if you see at the top. You know, in the tabs, once this image is selected, a new tab opens up, which is picture tools. And within that is picture format. Now, from the picture format, what we can do is we can add, you know, styles to the picture or frames as we call it. We go into picture styles and from here, you know, there are a host of options that come up. If we want to change it, we use something like this. You know, uh, if I want to use a frame, uh, I can uh, opt for something like this. Uh, if I want, uh, you know, some uh, different kind of a frame, uh, look, we can use this. So using your creativity and being in line uh, with the presentation that you're designing, you can alter the look of the image itself. Okay. And uh, once you've altered the look of the image, you know, if I say, if I want this, once we have taken on the style, okay, a thing to note here is that uh, there is this uh, orange, orangish dot that comes up. Okay. We select that and, you know, I can move it to further change the shape, okay, or edit the style as we call it. You know, if you see, if I move it outwards, you know, the borders are uh, increasing. If I bring it more inwards, you know, it becomes more circular in nature. Right? So within the styles, we have this edit point, okay, and it will only move to a certain degree there. Right? Now, besides the styles, you know, there are uh, other options also that we have, which is picture border. Okay. We can add a border to the picture. Right? If uh, I want uh, to say, complement the picture, I use a similar color, but maybe slightly darker. And uh, I choose this. So you can see that, uh, you know, there is a bluish kind of an outline there, which is the border. We can increase its thickness by going into the weight. And uh, if I add this, you know, it will become something like this. So it's all the creativity. And there are dots and dashes also. If I go into dashes, you know, I can... Uh, change it to something like this. Okay. So it's all creativity that uh, we use in the PowerPoint, especially when designing presentations. During the session, what I'm uh, doing is uh, giving you demo as to from where, uh, what you can do. Okay. Now, from, you know, the, uh, from this area, from the insert section, 
right? From the insert section, what we can also do is insert a word art. Okay. Word art is a great feature. When we did the first thing, we typed. I just wrote first slide. All that can happen to that is, uh, you know, it will uh, come up in a straight line or we can change the direction. Uh, at best, give it some color, uh, increase the distance and so on and so forth. Now see the difference that word art makes. We are into word art, you know, in the text section, insert, the tab is insert. We are into the uh, command, uh, the group of text and the center column, the center A that is there is word art. Right? Click on word art and we get these options. Right? I say, I want to choose a shadow, something like a shadow. I click on that and uh, we get this box here. Okay. Now for comparison, I will place it uh, just next to, you know, the first slide that we wrote there. And uh, where it says your text here, I just uh, write here, F-I-R-S-T first, slide. Okay, and I delete the rest. Now this text is here. And since it is a drawing, we get the drawing tools. Okay. At the top, if you see, next to help. When we go on picture, it says picture tools. When we go on to word art, it takes drawing tools. Okay. And from here, I've inserted, you know, just the, uh, just the text here. We can, if we want, we, we can change the shape styles. Okay. Again, shape styles is here. If I do a drop down, there's a host of options that are there. Ready made. Okay. We can choose from any of these. Now, these are ready made. Okay. And uh, we can choose from them. And, uh, you know, apply them. Okay. As now these are all presets, as we call it. So if I choose something like this, it will become this way. Okay. Now, not necessary that we select it, but if we select, no problem with that. Now, within this, you know, within the shape styles, there is uh, again shape fill. There's a drop down there. If we want to change the background color, okay. I don't like, uh, you know, uh, the first one was yellow. I will make it something uh, slightly on the yellowish side. Okay. Let's say, let's choose this. Okay. And uh, now, you know, uh, the next thing that I would do is, it says shape outline. Go into shape outline and from here, I would want to, you know, give the outline of this box. So uh, let me choose a contrasting color. Let's choose, say, something which is greenish in shape. Okay. Now, having done so, okay, uh, having done so, this shape outline, we can change the weight. I want to make it uh, slightly bolder. Okay. So as we come down, now you can see the three points, it's too much. Two and a quarter, good. Maybe one and a half point is uh, still visible. That's fine. I just make it like that. I change it. And this outline appears. Next to that, you know, is uh, the text, okay, word styles. The text fill and the text outline. If I come up here and go into text fill, and from the text fill, if I select this box, okay, if I select this box by clicking on that circular thing, I go into text fill and uh, Whichever color that I hover over, that color will take its effect. Okay. 
I want uh, something like this, no? Say something like this. This looks decent to me. Okay. I like this. So the text color has been, you know, uh, has been changed. Then the text outline. Okay. Outline of the each alphabet. When it says text outline, means outline of each alphabet. So I come up here and uh, I want to give it some, uh, uh, let me see, a gray shade or maybe a bluish shade. Okay. And uh, I give it a bluish shade, not visible right now. But when I go into outline, again, there is weight. Okay. As I, you know, now you see one and a half points, you can see. Uh, can you see where first slide I have written in that box? There is an outline that is appearing. Okay. And as I move it further, you know, as I increase it, its uh, weightage, the area of that increases. Okay. Now, this is just, you know, this is solid outline. I want something different. So let's go into dashes. And when we go into dashes, if you can see, as I apply, you know, any of uh, this, or maybe something like this, or uh, a longer dash, it uh, kind of takes that shape, you see. And uh, of course, the thinner ones are definitely better. I, you know, hit that. And now, see, compare till now, not that you wouldn't see a much difference between, you know, the appearance of the first and the second one. Uh, what we did by just inserting and uh, what we created as a style here uh, through word art. So Next, what is that eyedropper? That eyedropper is uh, if there is uh, any kind of a shade, any kind of a color uh, that you want to pick up. Okay. Uh, now, uh, for example, if I come here and uh, this eyedropper, what it will do is, uh, as if you can see the, you know, I placed it in that uh, box and it gives me the RGB combinations, you know, red, green, blue. Uh, that is... Uh, the uh, the uh, you know the combination for creating a color okay so now okay for example if i bring it here okay if i bring it here uh, within uh, this uh, image and i want a similar color like this it tells me that uh, rgb red 131 green 168 and uh, blue 229 now how we create that is uh, we go into say you know, I go into text outline and uh, where it says more outline colors. If I click on that, now this red, green, blue, if I put those, uh, if I fill in those numbers here, I will get that exact shade. That is what that eyedropper is for. Uh, is that uh, uh, decent? Uh, yes, sir. I followed. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. So uh, now, you know, uh, what, uh, uh, well, sorry, just let me do a control set. Yeah. Now, the last effect here, text effects. Okay. Text effects, you know, the first few are, uh, say, if I make it, uh, you know, let me select the entire, sorry about that. I go into text effects and uh, I start checking on, you know, the shadows. Okay, outer. And uh, if I apply something like this, you know, if I apply something like this, see, the whole thing changes itself. Okay, let me increase its size, zoom out a bit, and uh, close this. Okay. So, Just keeping them side by side for a comparison. Okay. Now, 
besides the, it's not that you know it is only in uh, in uh, uh, its uh, limitation is still here if i go over you know into uh, uh, into uh, the uh, into the uh, into the drawing tools and from here if we want to have uh, more interaction i want uh, something else here so uh, what we go uh, we go into you know uh, the drawing tools and text effects okay there are options you know like uh, we can make it something like a 3d uh, i can raise the bevel you know i make it something uh, slightly raised you'll see only the you know the text has become ra has been raised a bit if i go into more you know i want a 3d rotation now this is where the action comes over okay if uh, i click on something like this now you see it becomes first slide like this okay and it will remain like this okay uh, we as we select it it will uh, you know otherwise it will uh, change to this side now going back you know uh, into uh, the 3d aspect if we want uh, if we want to create a different kind of an impact we make it uh, you know this big this way and uh, uh, let me increase the size of the font oh, sorry okay go on to um, and uh, now see it gives a different look altogether I'm not uh, satisfied with this i want to you know I'll go back again into the drawing tools and uh, from here i go into you know now these are 3d best that i like is the transform okay if i hit on you know something like this okay this is what it becomes it becomes circular okay and there's a point here that brown edit point is here as we bring it uh, you know more uh, closer uh, or i take it uh, you know uh, further as i take it further it will change its shape or the reflection okay. now let me remove the the 3d rotation aspect and no rotation okay and I come back here oh, sorry and uh, come back into the picture tools and give it an effect of you know it becomes round okay we can change it okay and uh, we can make it still larger uh, i can bring it to a side okay and uh, it will change secondly if uh, the if we, when we examine you know these options uh if uh, there is uh, besides that if we see you know that has become like this there is we cannot make this in uh, by just text we have to make it as a word art okay and when we make it into a word art this here any word art that is created look for the brown dot that is there and if we move it if i move it further down if i pull it further down you see it uh, the the text the size of uh, the uh, of the alphabets also changes and uh, i move it back you know i want to reduce it you can see it uh, becomes like this it changes shape uh, and uh, so now uh, geeta ji tell me this first slide that we wrote by typing in through the keyboard is that better or the word art is better what is your opinion word art looks very fancy yes that is you got the word right now that's what when i say, when i shared from my slide deck that if there is a title that you want to impress upon okay <laughs> uh that you know uh say any section of the presentation that you want to impress on now this is something which will catch the eye you know presentation is all about visuals 
uh, uh, multimedia is all about visuals. So here, when you create something, you know, which is impactful and you place it on the slide, the, the viewer's eyes will naturally be drawn there. And uh, that's why we use, you know, uh, this uh, word art. Uh, and uh, it makes a huge impact. Okay. The other thing, you know, uh, now, of course, this is a very uh, a short uh, sentence. I will, uh, you know, uh, let me go home. And uh, okay, let me select the box. I go to home and uh, okay. let me write something. Okay. Okay. Now, now here, this is just one of, uh, of the shapes that is there. If we go into, again, you know, uh, the drawing tools, and I come down here into shape effects, transform it, there are, you know, a host of options that we can pick up from. Okay. Like, uh, you know, anything that, uh, say, if I want to design something like this, and uh, make it more bigger. So can now, we cause movement? Yes, sorry. Can we cause movement also? Like it's just uh, moving the slide. Uh, like well, a video, it just moves. The name uh, comes again, uh, moves. You can do that. That is something that I will be covering in the intermediate. Uh, I cover in that. Okay. Because okay. this thing, you could animate that, you know. Ah, so animate, that that's the word. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Animate it. So it would move. Uh, this whole, uh, you know, but then what would move is the whole box, you know, uh, here. Uh, the entire box would move in that case. So uh, these, you know, uh, these uh, word art, okay, is uh, again a very fancy way of uh, you know of uh, uh, of uh, presenting things and you know uh, giving it uh, some kind of giving it any kind of an importance that is there the best thing about uh, you know about uh, word art is that once it is made it is like an image we can move it anywhere okay. if i want to move it sorry uh, let me select the box uh, and uh, if i want to move it i just move it and it will go anywhere that uh, we place it on the slide. Okay. And uh, similarly, uh, we can copy this, we can drag it along. And uh, even if we write text, we can write text also uh, by its side. It's an image. What, have, what this is, is, is an image. And uh, at the same time, you know, we can uh, copy this and uh, just uh, paste it again. So if we need a multiple, you know, uh, uh, multiple, uh, if we have created an art and we want to use it at multiple places, we just copy it and reuse it again. It's not that we have to recreate it uh, again to, uh, to function. So this compared to writing is a more impressive way of uh, adding impetus uh, to the presentation. Okay. And uh, at the same time, you know, uh, what, uh, sorry, uh, sorry about that. Okay. And at the same time, uh, what uh, we could also do is uh, we inserted pictures, uh, we inserted, uh, uh, we inserted uh, word art. There are shapes also that can be inserted. Okay. Shapes in the sense that uh, what shapes do is, uh, I'll just give you a demo of that too. Uh, just uh, let me go into share screen mode again and uh, the same uh, presentation. Yeah. Now I will just add a slide here and uh, go into far, sorry. Go into home, uh, sorry, insert new slide blank. Yeah. Now within, you know, the insert option, of course, pictures was there that we could uh, do. There's an, there is an option for shapes, a very good option. Okay, when we click on that, 
we get all these, you know, uh, all these shapes here. We can pick on anything. Now, if, uh, if we want to make an arrow, okay, uh, just uh, a block arrow, we just uh, click on the block arrow, okay. And uh, when I click on the block arrow, it comes on my cursor. And as I draw it, you know, the block arrow is here. Okay. This again can be moved anywhere. This, these brown dots are always edit points. We want to reduce its uh, thickness, you know, reduce its thickness. Uh, we want to reduce its length. You know, we want to, uh, what we call it, uh, uh, the arrowhead. Uh, we want to make it uh, bigger, broader, or uh, whichever way we want to move that, we move it there. We wish to reduce the uh, length of the arrow. Uh, we can do that by, this is just a text box and we can do that. Now this was uh, uh, a very uh, simple kind of thing that uh, we inserted. The best that I like, especially about uh, some of these shapes is, when we come out to, uh, you know, uh, to the lower area, uh, we see call outs, okay. Or, uh, you know, stars and banners. I love both these sections. Now, for example, if I have to announce something, something new, or- Raju sir, five minutes left. Uh, thanks, Isha, thanks for, thanks, Atan. Okay, or flash sale. So what I do, I pick up a star and I draw a star here, okay. And uh, the star is here. And uh, within the star, I have to write. So what we do, we again go back to insert and uh, we need a text box. We draw a text box here and we say, flash sale, okay. And you know, the flash sale is there. The flash sale box is there. We can edit the color. You know, I'll go back to home. I want to make it uh, more in a reddish kind of a thing. Uh, give it uh, some kind of a yellow look. And uh, uh, also, uh, okay, a shape format. Yes. So now this is flash save. Did something like that. So these are, you know, from the insert option again, from the insert, shapes, just insert shapes and uh, kind of uh, do these kind of things. Uh, if uh, there is anything, you know, uh, anything loud that we need to uh, speak out, uh, we can use these kind of things. And uh, of course, use them creatively, you know, uh, because every individual is a creative, uh, uh, has a different eye for creativity. So we can use these. And uh, of course, text I'm not defining because uh, text though would depend on the content that you want to present. Uh, so uh, these were uh, some of uh, the basic elements of PowerPoint. And in the next session, I would uh, be doing uh, more of the animation, slide transitions, and uh, uh, a few of the mid-level features there. Yes, Cora. Yeah, I wanted to know if you made a presentation, for instance, in PowerPoint, how will yes. you be able to use this uh, in a website or you can use it to, uh, how do you use it, uh, say, for your social media? Uh, well, if you want to use it for social media, there are a couple of ways. And normally, uh, what we do, we convert, uh, uh, there are a couple of ways. One, uh, that entire presentation, we convert that into a PDF file. Okay. Second, uh, even, a PDF, even a presentation can be converted into a, a continuous show. Uh, there is an option in PD, in a PowerPoint, uh, which uh, by which you know when you save the file, okay, when you save the file, you save you save it as a slideshow, so it will continuously run. You know nobody will be able to copy that or download that. Uh, so uh, these two ways we can use it on the website also or uh, even on social media, where PowerPoint is permitted. <laughs> With, uh, like, but if you're creating like a design, for instance, then you're saying yes. you just save it as a PDF and then uh, you upload it. Yes, it is best to do that. It is best to do that. Okay.
Anything else I can help you with? So you save as a PDF and then you use that to our website or social media wherever. That's right. That's a better way of doing it. That's a better way of doing it. Okay. Uh, any questions, Gita Ji? Any questions from your sign? No, sir. It's okay. clear so far. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions, Calvin? But we can use this when we are trying to design a logo and anything, right? Yes. Yes. For logo and all, I'll be doing a different. Uh, you get used to Canva. Uh, it's much ah, better. Okay. There. Okay. Okay. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Okay. Any questions, Deepa ji and Bharti? Before I uh, no, sir. It was perfect. It very clear, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Canva? So there. Uh, Kuraji, you were trying to say something. I said, are you? Do you have a class on Canva? How to use Canva? Yes, I'll be doing it in April. In April, okay. That's so right. It's important for logos and everything else yes. as well. Yes, I'll okay. be doing it in April. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, I think it's uh, time to wrap up. Uh, and uh, just uh, before I wrap up, uh, you know, just the customary uh, slides uh, that uh, I need to share. Uh, just give me a moment while I get... Uh, to that uh, uh, to uh, that particular tab and uh, uh, yeah yes so uh, during the session you know we, this was just the basic session so we just learned how to create and name a new file uh, the ribbon and the various tabs that are there and uh, how to add style uh, you know to the slide by changing fonts uh, color. Uh, inserting pictures and word art and, uh, you know, uh, the uh, the shapes also. So uh, thanking you all again very much for your valuable time. Really appreciate that.